Hey, hello there, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekend reading, September 13th to the 15th of 2019. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a condensed general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. Okay, Scorpio, off camera to save time, I've done a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Knight of Pentacles, Scorpio. This could be, uh, this is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Risings. This could be an offer. This is someone that could be bringing good news. This is carefully considering where the value is and keeping your actions simple. This can be a communication or a message about uh, money, an offer. It could be the coming or going of a matter. It can also be uh, travel. This could be someone that could be bringing good news about money. It's also being on the edge of adventure or travel. This is someone that moves with the flow. They're stable and they're dedicated and responsible and predictable. They're determined and they're patient and they do their job and their duty. They're solidly dependable. They're the worker bee, the good soldier, the farmer who gets things done in his fields. And they work tirelessly. They put their nose to the grindstone. They may be eager to get back to some regular routine. This is being unhurried, practical, productive, purposeful, stubborn. They're cautious. They can also be self-sacrificing. Be doing things like fulfilling obligations or offering assistance, completing projects, getting or giving money, job or house hunting, and offering that stability. By working steadily on things that need to get done, you develop experience and self-possession, and you have the capabilities you need to solve problems. Second card. This is the energy that's crossing over your path. The Three of Pentacles, Scorpio, or Earth Energy. This represents employment, a synergy, working together with other people. It's support from teamwork. This is a lucky card. Could be a lucky project. This is a foundation being set, and it's the early stages of progress. And now the project is beginning manifestation. It's using your knowledge to turn a profit, yet there's still some more to learn yet. It's rethinking your efforts to see if they match up with your long-term goals. There's assistance and contribution and teamwork, planning, mentors. It's okay to take critics as teachers that are really helping you grow. Criticism helps us grow. Priorities are being established and plans are being put into action. This is a time to work with others, working with materials or working on oneself. Your opinion and your skills really do matter, so keep going. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. This can be your attitude. Number four of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Emperor. This can be uh, an Aries. It can also be a Taurus or a Capricorn, represented by the, the horns. The Emperor, this is someone that's full of authority. They are the divine masculine card. They have the right to rule. This is someone that may need to stand up for themselves or rely on their own power. The objective in life should now be based on your need to express your true nature in the world around you. Sometimes the present circumstances require you or someone to be protective of people and things in the environment. This is an expression of force coupled with love that's required. This card states that such action is intelligent and reasonable. Abundant energy is available for all plans and projects, but perhaps the urge to control should be examined and make sure the use of power is coming from the right source within oneself. This has to do with order and rulership, stability, paternity, someone being fatherly, giving fatherly advice. This is organizing and prioritizing. It's creating or defending boundaries, guarding possessions, standing up for yourself. 
making or enforcing or honoring rules or laws and exercising authority or leadership could be dealing with bureaucracy or fathering. And now your fourth card. I'll be giving you this, the uh, combination meanings coming up. This is the Four of Swords, Scorpio, for your future. It's the outcome, the advice. Four of Swords, this is air energy and represents a time of healing. It's uh, a time of, of uh, reflecting, meditating. It's a mental relief. It's respite and peace and reflection. You might be having to recuperate and gather up your strength and planning your next moves wisely. Some of these plans you might want to keep to yourself, but there's soon going to be a change for the better. You're going to have a relaxation of anxiety. This is someone's Jupiter in Libra. This could be planning a vacation or seeking an expert for advice. You could be incubating your ideas and taking time for a break and retreating to a quiet place to recuperate from illness or work through a problem or get some fresh ideas. But this is a needed rest to gain back your strength, and you should be taking it easy. So stop and settle your spirit in order to rest after a hard time and think over a problem so you can make the right decision. You'll need to relax and take life easy. There is a silver lining because you are in control. This may be the end of conflict. Someone being detached from drama and trying to get enough sleep. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. Number 12 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Hanged Man. This is a watery card. The ruling planet is Neptune. Could represent Pisces. This is someone that wishes to fill a greater goal. There may be an investment of time or energy or money may have to be made. But whatever is at stake, that some sort of sacrifice is needed in order to attain your envisioned goal. You may be devoted to the cause or the relationship of the moment, and you're open and ready to take on the task in front of you. But first, there has to be time to pause and consider. There may be some kind of sacrifice needed to complete this goal. It's like sacrificing something of a lesser value to gain something of a greater value. This is faith in your own development forthcoming. New and old beliefs are put to the test. Could be some kind of unconventional experimental thinking, which would not be for your greater good. You'll need to shift your attention and change up your routine and to shift your energy flow. You may have a new perspective. You're having to wait. It's letting go and making peace with uncertainty. It's getting in touch with the spiritual aspects of yourself and surrendering to what is, even though it's different from what you expected. Pushing will create more obstacles, so you'll need to allow opportunities to flow to you. The emperor with the hangman, this is a domineering person, and they're best dealt with with pass pass being passive instead of confronting them. Someone that's bossy. Could also be a feeling of failure or being played false. It has to do with events that are beyond your control. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Ask your guides by Sonia Choquette. Scorpio, you've got truth. Card number 21, higher self. Truth. Has to do with honesty and clarity and discipline and intellect. Your higher self is present, activating your powers of reason and intellect. It asks you, it asks you to develop clarity and objectivity when looking at your life rather than interpreting events through the murky and distorted waters of emotion. Strive to see the reality of what happened in the past so you can acquire a more accurate understanding of what's going on. You may notice things that make you uncomfortable or challenge your ethics. Ask your higher self to give you the courage to stand up for your truth and address difficult situations at their core, rather than distance yourself or pretend you don't see the real problem because they make you uncomfortable. Like the child in the fairy tale, 
the emperor's new clothes, your higher self is motivating you to not only see life more deeply, but also to share your perceptions with those around you. This is the time, for example, to address your unbalanced budget and look for ways to cut corners. It's also the time to acknowledge your ever-expanding waistline and, and seek out what's really eating at you. This is when you need to step away from your emotions and dispassionately study the problems at hand so that you can come to a solution without blame and projection. Ask yourself what the problem is, not who the problem is. Only then can you begin to find the real solutions with productive outcomes. Your higher self is sharpening your perception and clarifying your view that you can make important and necessary changes at this time. As Carl Jung once said, When the diagnosis is correct, the healing begins. And your higher self's message is, Look for the truth behind appearances. Thanks, you guys, Scorpio. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Now remember... What goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.